Okay, probably one of the most common questions that gets asked me is, uh, what do I do with the fish after I shoot them? Uh, the common carp, I give them away. Um, I do have a guys that take them for turtle farms and crayfish farms and stuff like that. A lot of them in the spring of the year get thrown on the farmer's fields and they just disc them under. Uh, the common carp doesn't belong in our waters. It was brought over from Germany or something like that. And they, uh, they just don't belong here. They're tearing everything up. But the buffalo carp, that's what this is right here. You can see he's more silver colored. I mean, they're just, they're just a totally different fish. These are actually members of the minnow family, and they are delicious. And we're going to show you how to clean one and how to cook one. And I promise you, if you follow this and you do this, you will be out bow fishing and keeping every single buffalo you shoot just to, uh, to, to cook it up. We try to go out when they're spawning and just get as many as we possibly can, and we fill up our freezer. Uh, family reunions we have, weddings, everybody loves it. I make... Uh, I make buffalo ribs and I make carp balls, so we're going to show you how we uh, start that out. First thing, get your buffalo out. <clears throat> um, now what I do, and this is very important, get yourself a sharp knife. Make sure it's good and sharp. And you want to go inside, uh, underneath a scale. Just like that, peel it up. And then jab your knife in, but keep your knife up. If you stood here today and tried to cut into these scales, you'd have a very dull knife and it'd take you all day. So we want to go in one of these scales, take the knife in, and then just cut up, just like this, all the way down through to the belly, just like that. Then you want to go just like you were filleting a, a bluegill or a crappie or a walleye or anything like that. You just want to run a knife down just like this. Now, when you get to about the anal fin right here on them, with your cut, you just want to start cutting upwards. This meat back here in the tail is no good. It's really red. It's really tough. It tastes, it's just nasty. So what I want to do is just cut up just like that. Now you do just like you would a bluegill or anything. You cut right down to the ribs, just like that. Now here's where you're going to need some little bit heavier duty equipment. Um, we have a tin snips. I have just little wire cutters and I have a meat cleaver. For this part, the first initial cut into the fish, I like to use a meat cleaver to break them ribs. And just work your way right up to the head, just like that. Okay, once you're through all the ribs, then it's just like taking a, there you go so now you got that got one half of your fish laying here the other half's laying here now what I like to do is take and you can see there's some eggs left in here and some guts and we got some fatty deposits um, you want to pull them off and a lot of times it's, they don't always have this black membrane sometimes it's white but you just want to get all that fatty stuff off of there and basically we're gonna gut the fish just like this you can see all that fatty stuff pulls right up. You get her gutted, just like this. Make sure you have a big, big garbage can when you're doing this. And that's where we're at right now. Now, this when a meat cleaver doesn't work so good so i like to do is take my little wire cutters or if you got a big fish you can use a tin snips but you can see the ribs right here get your knife in there cut her back like this and then just fillet it kind of reverse style here until you hit a rib once you hit them ribs and you just take it start cutting each individual rib and you can see them in here this really is not that part of a job. There's really no reason for throwing these fish back. Like I said, they're native. They're not a regular carp. They don't suck the bottom. They're a plankton eater. You can see their mouth ain't on the bottom sucking like a carp is. It's out here and they open it up and that's how they eat and eat plankton and, and all of that. So they're, 
they're really good to eat they don't have them high mercury levels like a cart does or anything like that and you want to get up in there one more here there you got it now you just want to kind of do it in reverse once you got that and you can flip it over again and then do the same thing again get your knife underneath the scale just like that keep it up plunge it in there and then you want to cut up just like that okay and then again when you get here by the anal fin just cut up and there's what you'll have you'll have that and you'll have this this grows tomatoes take my, take my knife give this a couple good little scrapes here and that's that now you can see right here where these ribs end on both sides is belly meat no good I don't like it so what I do is I just follow just about a half an inch below them ribs just like that same thing on the other side so now you'll end up with a cut just like that take your knife it's really easy almost peels apart you got that fin on there that belly meat that's garbage now now you got a nice fillet take and we're gonna peel the ribs out but now we're gonna go right down to the meat or right down to the skin right here and we're gonna get as much of this meat with these ribs as we possibly can because believe it or not this is some of the finest eating there is these ribs and that's what you want you'll see you've got a little bit of red meat on here I want to trim that off anything that's red is really not that good to eat we got one rib cage there same thing here see a little bit of red meat on there I'm gonna trim that off that one's good. Now, now I take what I call the tenderloin. You see a really black or red line basically right there. Or that white line that's the center of the fish. You want to cut just along that, right down to the skin. And we're going to take that meat. Now, this meat, if you don't have a meat grinder, you might want to get one. Or probably not keep that if you don't have a meat grinder and you don't have access to one you would probably just throw this away this is really bony but i'll tell you it tastes so good so we're going to show you how we take care of all them bones again just take that off of there give you that tent, nice little tenderloin again that's garbage flip this over see that really dark red meat right there I'm gonna take that off that's good same thing here you got this really really dark red meat that was getting down towards that tail what you want to do is you want to just take and take that right off there you go and that's pretty good now we're gonna wash these babies up be cooking them I got myself a whole big tub of fish right here to, to clean so I'm gonna be at this a while but when I get done we're gonna make some buffalo ribs and carp balls and we'll show you that next but uh, let me get these done and we'll head in the house got a little rain coming so I gotta hurry up